is the land of heavy metal, they say. Yes, Finland is a metal country. It's amazing because uh, I remember so many times like coming from the airport and getting a taxi and then you go into the ta taxi, it's not playing Justin Bieber or, I don't know, uh, Kate Perry. He's playing Dio, Scorpions. When thrash metal was new in the San Francisco area, there was never anything like this. Something more than like Tusco where it's just, you know. Kids, and I wasn't seeing that really in a lot of other places on the planet at the time because thrash metal was hadn't made a big let's say comeback yet but here it already seemed to have done that in the late 90s early 2000s something in finland something happened but it wasn't always like that uh, what do you remember of the finnish scenario at that time non-existent the scenario of, of heavy metal in Finland was there is like a child play I think <laughs> it was like a very very small guys we wearing tight pants and long hair and some, uh, some how do you say scars and everything and tattoos and everything I did uh, saw some videos of David Lee Roth making uh, moves in the state and it was like wow for me and I was like uh, I want to be like him <laughs> it was like then we were friends with Marco and in the same studio we made music and Marco was mixing there and, and, and learning about the mixing you know, we, we got a little bit closer there and if you could name like your first references when you think about Finnish heavy metal musicians, regardless of what they do, but heavy metal musicians, who would it be? Where, where are the first people that come to your mind? Of course, Marko Hirtel and Tarot. Tarot is maybe the first heavy metal band from Finland that I remember hearing. Bands like Stone and uh, yeah, exactly. uh, those 80s, uh, Tarot and that kind of band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they tarot, started tarot. Uh, actually, yeah. they are the first metal teams in Finland. Yeah. While grunge took over the world in the early 90s, in Finland, it was different. Amorphis, of course, Stratovarius. So would you say that Stratovarius is one of the bands that is more significant to take Finland abroad, Finnish bands abroad? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean Stratovarius was the first one to do Latin America, for instance. Stratovarius sort of was a very big part of building the whole infrastructure of taking uh, bands like Nightwish or, or Chill of Bottom or the bands that came after. So in this way I would consider maybe, you know, Stradivarius and Amorphis, they, they would be like very significant as the trailblazers. From very early on, in the 90s you had bands like, like Amorphis, obviously, um, Valtari, and, uh, but then by the end of the 90s, that's kind of where, where it all kind of exploded into a bigger thing with, with bands like Children of Bodom and Nightwish and, and these kind of like him also. Like even if it's not really a metal band, you know, their impact has still been huge. It was acknowledged quite quickly also uh, globally that, wait a minute, there's this small country that, you know, people didn't even know that existed. All of a sudden, there are these bands like the the big metal medias in Europe starts to review their albums and you know give them you know ten out of ten and stuff like that. So so definitely something happened. We had him. We had uh, Children of Bottom, Nightwish. They were born born most of them in the later part of uh, of the of the of the nineties. So yeah, things definitely started happening. You know, we had all kinds of uh, genres also appearing that you know we didn't you know we, we never had in Finland before. Definitely on a different level where I used to but then, then of course maybe the biggest leap happened with once and Nemo single which like put us a big leap forward that was already when I was part of it. There was a lot of shared pride and joy in that. 
At this point in time, heavy metal became so mainstream that even politicians wanted to show how much they liked it. I do want to point out uh, that Finland has uh, perhaps the most heavy metal bands in the world per capita. Rock music was the big thing at the time. Uh, even our prime minister did this with Lordy like in 2006 or something like that. So that's when, that's when rock and roll died. <laughs> <laughs> Buy these records, metal is awesome. Let's see the Finnish prime minister doing, uh, how should I do, uh, like this? Yeah, I do it like this, I'm a metal man. They were making copy bands of, you know, Stradivarius, Tear of Bottom, um, him, just trying to get in, in with the people, in with the money. So then you have to take away all this. You remove the, all the money, all the bars, all the fame, all the business. And what you're left is, is real people making real music. Yeah!